Rose in Twilight is a great puzzle game with a great atmosphere. In the game you play as Rose, a girl that woke up with a rose on her back and has some weird superpowers. She can manipulate stuff with blood. She can even stop falling rocks mid fall And she can also do much more with her abilities. I won't tell you everything because the game introduces new mechanics frequently. In the game you also play as a giant, which is the opposite of Rose. If Rose dies easily, she can die by touching thorns, she falls on her face if a ledge is too high. Her jump always gave me anxiousness because her jumps are so tiny. But the giant on the other hand is strong. It can pass through thorns, it can lift rocks, it can throw Rose across the levels and can do other strong stuff. The two work together to pass through the six sections of the castle. And the nice touch in the game is that you get fast travel, which is useful when you go for collectibles. The controls can feel finicky at times, but it's not a deal breaker. Also, some explanations would have been nice. Some new stuff was harder to figure out and led to some unnecessary deaths, till I figured them out. But hey, it's a puzzle game, I, I mean, even the rules of the game can become a puzzle. But these two are only minor complaints, because the game is great especially the atmosphere and the story that is told without words, which makes the game universal, you don't have to even know English or Japanese to play the game. And the story is touching, so overall, if you love brain teasers, puzzles that take time to figure out, and want a touching story along the challenging puzzles, then this game is for you.